the FBI has labeled conspiracy theories as a new domestic terror threat. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious bringing you the obvious and today on AOL.com. So it looks like we finally reached a point in time in society where conspiracy theories themselves, not only have they been degraded by the government as all being automatically false, because conspiracies can never be true, because you can trust the mainstream media. The media always tells the truth. If the media says it's not real, it's not real, right? Oh, crap. Gar we all know that's utter garbage and lies, and yet here we are, exclusive. FBI document warns conspiracy theories are a new domestic terror threat. Absolute nonsense. You know, in the past, they said a lot of things were conspiracies. Oh, the government is not giving people psychedelic drugs to try and control their mind? MK Ultra's a conspiracy. Then, in later news, we found out the shocking truth. MK Ultra was real. The CIA and other groups have done terrible, terrible things to American citizens. Or what about the conspiracy that the rich elite in our government are being lollygaggers? That was a conspiracy. And then they found out that Epstein had a plane called the Levita Express and a special island where he would take the rich and famous, including Clinton, to diddle the littles. And that was proven true. So many conspiracies were proven true. And now what are they saying? They're saying that conspiracy theories are a terror threat? Are you kidding me? Now, before we really jump into this massive story, a word from our sponsor, unsilencedvoice.com. Be sure to take a visit to unsilencedvoice.com. A link will be available down in the description at the tippy top. Here it says, nothing is more difficult and therefore more precious than to be able to decide. Napoleon Bonaparte. As you can see here, there's even a video of our main girl, Soph, being banned from YouTube. Be sure to join this free speech social media platform. There are different communities and to get different kinds of content, all you have to do is Subscribe. It's super simple and easy to make a profile. Again, unsciencevoice.com. Join today. So over here, we can see here in the short clip, Seth Rich, murder case, Russia connection. They're calling this a conspiracy. However, there's good evidence to suggest that Seth Rich was a leaker at the DNC. Uh, it's a popular misconception, but a lot of the leak were not hacks. That, that's a total lie. A lot of them were inside links because these servers were not accessible from the outside. Now, how did Seth Rich die. Well, for one, he worked for the DNC. And for two, he was shot two times in the back. Sound familiar? In his apartment, nothing was stolen. Hmm. It's big brain time. The FBI, for the first time, has identified fringe conspiracy theories as domestic terror threat, according to a previously unpublicized document obtained by Yahoo News. Yahoo! Oh, they did something right for once. The FBI intelligence bulletin from the Bureau's Phoenix field office, dated May 30th, 2019, describes conspiracy theory-driven domestic extremists as a growing threat, and notes that it's the first such report to do so. It lists a number of arrests, including some of which have, haven't been publicized, related to violent incidents motivated by fringe belief. The document specifically mentions QAnon. QAnon is a literal cult that is absolute nonsense and fortune telling. I've seen the techniques myself. I was there when the Q post started. They were bullshit then and they're bullshit now. Again, I'm gonna say it over and over and over again. QAnon was and is a LARP. It's a LARP. Okay, a LARP started by schizophrenic boomers. I even had someone with schizophrenia contact me claiming to be the creator of Q. Now, I don't know if this person's legitimate, I don't know if it's true, but are you really gonna trust this, the schizophrenic posting of Q? The sun will rise in the east. The king shall fall from the sky, but not die. The horse ridden will get backstabbed. Look to Mueller. Never forget Mueller. I literally just made that up, but if you put it in a QAnon post, it would probably make sense to all those boomers. A shadowy network that believes in a deep state conspiracy against President Trump and Pizzagate. The theory that a lollygagger ring, including Clinton associates, was being run out of the basement of Washington, D.C. Pizza restaurant, which didn't actually have a basement. You mentioned Clinton. 
Hmm? Maybe it wasn't a pizza parlor. Maybe the pizza was just a metaphor. Maybe, just maybe, someone like Clinton who flew on uh, Jeffrey Epstein's plane 26 times. Um, Epstein, who was put in prison for trafficking of minors and diddling minors and uh, having pictures of young minors. Maybe, just maybe, Clinton was in on it. He sure rode the plane that would later be dubbed the Lolita Express. Maybe it's not a conspiracy. Maybe... The conspiracy theorists were right all along. Did you ever think about that? Of course not. Because you're the government. Your job is to lie. What a joke. Remember when the FBI were good guys? And you can't even tell me. The FBI guys, there's nothing wrong with them. No, they were literally caught. I have a video on my channel about the FBI. It's also on BitChute, by the way, and other social media websites. Reminder, you can join my Patreon and subscribe start down below in the description. And I proved, for Hacker4chan proved that the FBI was posting on 4chan and 8chan encouraging and inciting violence. The FBI, they were encouraging violence so that they would have a case and they could get paid more taxpayer money. And I, I'm going to listen to the FBI on their high horse talk to me about what's true and untrue when they were caught posting on 4chan encouraging people to do violent acts. The FBI assesses these conspiracy theories will likely emerge, spread, and evolve in the modern information marketplace, occasionally driving both groups and individual extremists to carry out criminal or violent acts. In some cases, the FBI who will spread those conspiracy themselves. The document states, it also goes on to say the FBI believes conspiracy theory driven extremists are likely to increase during the 2020 presidential election cycle. So the FBI was also caught during the last election saying how they're gonna stage a coup to take over the, the election to rig it and make sure that Trump loses. And we're supposed to trust the FBI. Them saying that, oh, conspiracy theories are gonna increase in 2020 is just them preemptively trying to cover up the fact that they're probably going to try to do another coup. That is treason, okay? And w the last time I remember, treason is punishable by death. Whatever happened to that? The FBI said another factor driving the intensity of this threat is the uncovering of real conspiracies or cover-ups involving illegal, harmful, or unconstitutional activities by government officials. In other words, people finding the truth. So as the theory goes, QAnon, if you were to believe it, it is a LARP, but if you were to believe it, uh, apparently it's, it goes like this. Apparently someone with classified information is seeding that information to all the normies and everyone on 4chan uh, through code, as it were. I believe that's absolutely schizophrenic. So here it says the FBI is under fire for not fighting domestic extremism, citing white people as being the danger. But really, they ignore Antifa, okay? The modern day fascists who attack innocent people, who even attacked a gay Asian journalist, Andy No. But no, they're not, they're not the terror threat. No, 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 blame the straight white males. They're the real villains. Ooh. What a world. Ray told lawmakers the FBI had done away with separate categories for black identity extremists and white supreme and said the bureau was instead now focusing on racially motivated violence. I will say that a majority of domestic terror cases we've investigated are motivated by some version of what you might call white violence. Oh, okay. So what about all the black identity extremists? Hmm? Oh my God. What? A, oh my goodness. Le oh my God. Dude. Oh. Wow, 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 okay. The Bureau now classifies domestic terror threats in a four main category. Racially motivated violent extremism, anti-government slash anti-authority extremism, animal rights slash environmental extremism, and abortion extremism. Live in the upside down. I don't, when, when did everywhere become Australia? A term that the Bureau uses to classify both pro-choice and anti-abortion extremists. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? One group wants babies to not die. The other group wants to do the blood sacrifices for Moloch. Abortions are a for-profit industry that sells body parts. Hail Moloch, am I right? I hear you, my son. Remember to brush your teeth. The new focus on conspiracy theories appears to fall under the broader category of anti-government. Because how dare you challenge a tyrannical, corrupt government? So they're blaming the rise of the internet and social media, aka free speech, and they don't want people to speak about uh, conspiracies. They don't want people to possibly discuss and discover the corruption in the FBI themselves, or the CIA, 
or the government. No one's allowed to speak anymore. It's very, very interesting, isn't it? You're not allowed to question the official record? What is this, North Korea? Did we stop living in America all of a sudden? Dude, the entire Russian election interfering in the election was a conspiracy theory. It's absolutely bullcrap. So this whole article is bent. No one is telling the truth. Let's just jump straight to the comments. Uh, here we go. Fid says, the best thing you can do is research and not believe everything on the internet. Use your brain and quit letting others dumb you down. Here, Dot says, the domestic terror threat are Democrats. Luke replies, not according to the report, look in the mirror, there is our greatest threat to democracy. My democracy. Soy boys like this are the true threat to America. Their estrogen is killing all the strong men and the weak are prevailing sad times friends but remember the strong have the right to rule so be strong Andy points out the obvious we hack and spy on Russia we try to influence their elections and they do the same been that way for 60 plus years and the rest of it is just uh, anti-white bigotry so there's really no not much use in looking at this however there is a good comment that I will leave off on Man Ito Harbor says the greatest domestic threat I see is from a corrupt FBI but that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about the fact that the FBI has d labeled free speech and conspiracy theories? Uh, because that's what they are. Uh, they're a form of free speech as a terror threat. Can you believe that we live in a society where they just don't want us to think? They don't want us to question anything. Can anyone say Big Brother in 1984? Now, this is just a reminder, but as someone who's constantly demonetized, you can help out by joining me on Patreon or Subscribestar for as low as one dollar. There are different tiers, you can choose whatever you wish, and doing so will give you access to a private Discord server called Fight Club. Be sure to check out my social media accounts and follow me on BitChute. You can also donate on PayPal or Bitcoin. Lastly, because websites and the mainstream are suppressing content like mine, you can help out by posting videos you enjoy on social media. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.